I am so excited to be here with Dr. Michelle Routon. You may have seen her in the Bus Mob community, and she's going to help us answer some questions. So the very first one I want to cover is probably the most common term you hear when talking about risks and implants. So let's dispel some myths here about capsular contracture. What is it? What is it not? And what do we need to do about it? Got it. Um, capsular contracture is a medical term that means scar around the breast implant. Mm -hmm. Any foreign body that you put inside of you, whether it's a breast implant, a knee replacement, um, a, uh, sometimes people have ports for chemotherapy or something, all of those things are foreign and your body will make a scar around it. Completely normal. We sometimes call it the pocket. You'll hear those terms too. For whatever reason, and it's not fully understood, sometimes that scar can actually contract and it can get smaller. And the breast implant is the only thing we put in your body that's squishy. So when we squish on squishy, it looks more like a sphere. It can be tender to you, etc. Good news, in the beginning, when I think all of us wonder if we have capsular contracture because one is higher than the other one, that's not it because that normal pocket takes at least six weeks to form. So in those first six weeks, that's absolutely not possible. Um, and then the downside is it can happen at any point in your mm -hmm. breast implant life after about six to 12 weeks. You can start to have a, um, a tighter, more firm side, which can also be painful and asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. It's not cancer. It's not medically harmful. It does frequently require surgery for it to get better. That surgery would be to go to sleep and have your surgeon take your implant out take out part or all of that scar tissue around the implant, that capsule, and then put a new implant back in. Um, that is usually curative. If it's not, every once in a blue moon, you might need a third surgery, which we would bring in kind of plan C for. Got it. What are the chances of this happening if I have breast implants? Great question. It's hard for me to say, Greta, it's 20% of the time because there's so many things that factor into the, your likelihood of getting capsular contracture. The number one most important um, variable to control is going under the muscle if you can. Mm -hmm. Under the muscle, six to 10 times lower rate of capsular contracture than over the muscle. Um, and then the second uh, biggest risk factor would be where you put your incision if you're gonna have um, a breast augmentation alone. So the crease incision, which is um, my preferred incision, two to two and a half times less likely to get capsular contracture than around the areola or under the arm. Um, and then finally, things like using little tegaderms, which are like sterile saran wraps over the nipples during the surgery, using a Keller funnel to put the implant in with, and using betadine and antibiotics in the wash around the implant all drive that risk lower. Mm -hmm. um, under the muscle with a crease incision, using those things, risk is, at least in my practice, around 1% of the year. What's hard to tell is that if a woman is going to keep her implants for 20 to 30 years, and we certainly hope so, what does that risk look like over time? And the, the reason that's hard to follow is pa patients move around, surgeons mm -hmm. retire. 30 years is a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit hard to know the end result, like what is your chance of getting it eventually? Mm -hmm. But early on, probably between one and 5%. That makes sense. Okay, one more question. If someone thinks that they might be having a capsular contracture, what would be happening and what should they do? Um, if you think it's happening to you, so it's not an emergency, it's not mm -hmm. a health risk, you don't have to be seen the next day, but it is often helpful to know why you're hurting or why one breast is asymmetric to the other side. Um, you will go see your surgeon. It's a clinical diagnosis made by um, an exam and literally um, kind of feeling the breast in comparison to how tight the breast is on the other side. Got it. Thank you very much. I, I'm sure that was helpful. If you're researching plastic surgery, you're gonna wanna hear this. The video you just watched was one of hundreds of educational plastic surgery videos that you can find in the completely free Bust Mob Academy app. Go download it in the App Store. That's right. And that's not the only free resource. We have tons of them that the team at Amelia Aesthetics has built with you in mind. Yep. So you ready to start researching? Watch this video right here to learn about all of the benefits and resources available to you in the Bust Mob community.